Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom and I'm here with Gustavo Rodriguez with his movies, Spanglish movies. Let's take a look at some clips. <laughs> ¿Me ve? Dame un sublingual. Vamos a ver. Y bate que bate otra vez. Mene ese temple que otra vez. Bueno, hoy vas a rodar una escena con Alfa Méndez. No sé si lo conoces, pero sus videos son éxitos en Canadá y Europa. Y ahora le estamos buscando nuevos compañeros. Gustavo, thank you so much for sharing uh, your films with us at New Filmmakers Los Angeles. It's been an absolute treat to have them. Um, Tell us a little bit more about Spanish movies. Oh, thanks to you first, no, for the opportunity to show our films at the New Filmmakers Lay. Um, we are a young distribution company. We've been here for 18 months. We already have more than 30 films, wow. feature films, and like 40 nominations. And um, we are now working with shorts and documentaries and series. So we are bl uh, bringing up our, our catalog. How amazing that you've done that in 18 months. That's like truly sensational. Um, really, really incredible. Uh, tell us a little bit about the films uh, that you brought to us at New Filmmakers LA. Uh, we brought a set of short films mm -hmm. um, from Cuba, from Puerto Rico, um, from Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. And then we brought uh, La Gunguna, which is an awarded Dominican film. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of ending. It's run in Latin America. We are opening La Gunguna in Spain uh, during July. And, and we are aiming to open in the US. Yeah. During the next world. Yeah, La Gunguna is uh, going to be uh, in movie theaters in Spain, which was our feature uh, presentation at New Filmmakers LA, which was uh, went down absolutely incredibly. And then you also have, you know, short films um, as well, like Preach, which is, you know, part of a, a series as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, what's kind of, where do you hope to sort of see Spanglish uh, movies, m you know, move in the future? Um, bringing films from more territories, mm -hmm. uh, more films, and once again, no, better quality. Now yeah. we are bringing films from, we are beginning to acquire films from Argentina, from Spain, um, from Colombia, from Venezuela. So next year is bring a lot of more films, better films, better directors, and try to participate as executive producers in the production of 2017 films. So what, what made you decide to get involved and, and be part of you know, the creation of uh, Spanglish movies? Uh, I used to work for 20th Century Fox for mm -hmm. a long time uh, in the Caribbean and after 15 years it was time for me to go solo, try, to this, pro try this project and follow the same processes that uh, Fox and Warner and Disney, the rest of the majors have been using fr in LA mm -hmm. for the last 100 years to independent filmmakers, to independent films in Latin America. Mm -hmm. The same distribution processes, the same quality controls, the same support to the directors and the producer, the same marketing expertise uh, to, to all this content that has been bubbling up yeah. and, and this is still bubbling up and, and the temperature is increasing, so it's fantastic. Now the the term Spanglish, which I, I just I just love I love that I love that and I you know personally I, I really need to touch up my Spanish which is this has got to improve um, but uh, you, you know are you hoping for kind of more movies that kind of have a sort of you know Spangl that are Spanglish where you've just got you know Spanish and English in the same in the same film are you hoping for that more of that direction? Yes, we are hoping not only on the lang language. Um, variable, but also on the culture variable, mm -hmm. on the, the stories itself of all these um, 650 million people that go from Argentina to Texas and California mm -hmm. and Florida mm -hmm. and New York that share a cultural uh, pattern, yeah. a cultural background, yeah. independent of the, of, of the language. Um, given that most of our market or our key market is in the US, mm -hmm. uh, yes, we are going to have a lot of movies that go back and forth 
between English and Spanish. I'm excited about that. That's, that's very, it's very exciting for me on a personal level. Um, wh what is it like, you know, to have, you know, when you've obviously you work so hard when you're in distribution to, you know, put these great talents, you know, um, out there, but what is it like to have your films selected for, for New Filmmakers LA and just to kind of see it here in Los Angeles? Uh, it was <laughs> it was fantastic. It was a celebration. Um, I think it was a milestone for us. Mm -hmm. uh, creating this catalog, uh, putting these films uh, up there into theaters, into TV stations, into trying to, to create a new catalog, mm -hmm. uh, to put our concept out there, and then finally getting to New Filmmakers LA it was just a fantastic milestone. And uh, we are planning for the next. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Our, no, our it's 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 got to come. And uh, the idea is to collaborate with you guys as much as possible. Well, what is what is next for you, Gustavo? Uh, the next one would be Lotus Seven. Lotus mm -hmm. Seven. Uh, the next Hispanic blockbuster, if you want. Now we have art house films, and uh, and on the other extreme, we have very commercial stories. And this is a really commercial stories with nine of the most talented and well known. Uh, actors in across Latin America and use mm -hmm. Hispanics, all of them work in TV, uh, heavily in TV um, and in cinema. So we're bringing this really high quality story um, to the new filmmakers. To the, the opening, the, the, the premiere in the US will be in the new filmmakers' lane. Well, we, we certainly hope for that. I've already seen the trailer to Lucky Seven and it looks amazing. Um, it looks so good. Um, but no, I want to, you know, a great, you know, thank you on behalf of new filmmakers to celebrate, you know, stories in Puerto Rico, from Cuba, from the Dominican Republic, um, beautiful filmmakers, so much talent coming from there. And, and, and thank you. And just, you know, to Spanglish movies to continue that journey to uh, celebrate films from the Caribbean. So we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, I thank you. I thank you guys for the support, the new filmmakers lay, uh, for the opportunity. Um, there are a lot of really good films uh, out there and, and the opportunity to be able to play it in LA is just fantastic. So we appreciate it. Many more to come. Many more Thank to you. come. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Gustavo. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.